This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to this Thursday edition of the MCTV Weekday Update. My name is Anthony Hall and today wraps up the first part of SGA's investigation into a smoke-free or tobacco-free campus with two town hall debates that were held Tuesday and today. The investigation, headed by graduate senators Catherine Lindley and Samantha Dunkerley, is in response to students' requests on the matter. The town hall meetings were opportunities for students to directly state their opinions and get information from doctors who could testify to the dangers of smoking. One of the most common things brought up at the meetings is the enforcement of the current policy, which was even vague and unclear to those at the meetings. If uh, people were to abide by the 20 feet from the entrance and 20 feet from the walkways heading up to any entrance, I feel like that would eliminate a lot of the problem uh, with secondhand smoke. One pro-smoking concern was that a ban on smoking or tobacco use would infringe on people's rights, something that Daniel, who declined giving his last name, felt strongly about. I think a healthy awareness of this promotion, advertising campaign, some of this nature, would be far more beneficial than the absolute uh, rule and regulation which restricts our freedoms. Our freedoms yeah. Senator Catherine Lindley said that she and the other senators will be using some other, more precise ways to measure students' interest and opinions on the topic as well. So we also have surveys at the debates that everyone can fill out. Both Samantha and I are grad students, so we're very familiar with collecting data and doing the statistics on that. So we're going to gather the data and do the stats uh, after the second town hall on Thursday and just see what the numbers are. Both Senators Lindley and Dunkerley stress that they will not be taking any action without further investigation into students' thoughts and feelings on the matter. The SGA's first official session is next Thursday at 6 p.m. in room 353 of the College of Media and Communications. Walking onto Texas Tech campus is as simple as getting out of your car and escorting yourself in. And with public shootings like Aurora, Sandy Hook, and most recently, the Lone Star College shooting in Houston, Texas on the rise, some students are a little bit on edge. I'm out here today to ask students what they think the administration should be doing to promote Texas Tech's safety, what they would do in a shooting setting, and most importantly, do they feel safe? There really is no such thing as safety if you think about it. I mean, we're all destined to this whirlwind to die at some point. Right. It's just a matter of how. Win. Okay. That doesn't bother me because, what is there, 36,000 Texas Tech students? Has he got a 36,000 clip magazine in there or something like that? One for each of us. <laughs> okay. I mean, I, I don't, I, don't get me wrong here. I don't want to sound like some crazy guy that thinks you should roll around toting guns everywhere because that's not what I'm saying. Right. But what I am saying is you can't outlaw to fix. You have to start with what drives it. You can't fix how it ends. Yeah, I definitely feel safe here at Tech. Uh, I think the campus police do a good job of being uh, pretty much everywhere at once. Uh, even when I walk around at night, I still, you know, don't feel threatened or anything. Maybe it's just because I'm a man and, not, you know. Nobody's going to mess with you. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, for the most part, I think I think uh, Tech does a good job of safety for their students. Do you feel safe on campus with all of this kind of stuff going on? Well, Tech is a really safe campus, I think. There's a bunch of cops around. There's Lubbock police, and then there's also Texas Tech police. And they always monitor. You always see them around. And I think it's pretty safe. I feel safe everywhere I go. I'm a fear of death. I'm a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> so, 3 o'clock in the morning, you're walking around here. A couple shady guys walk over just right past you. You're fine? I'm fine with that. I and mean, what exactly is shady? What, like the Trayvon Martin? Is that what we're talking about? Shady? How is that shady? I mean, what do we classify as shady? Maybe a bearded dude in a bandana. Maybe a bearded dude in a bandana with a hoodie. <laughs> that could be the shady guy. That you never know. Guy. I mean, I'm pretty shady. I believe you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. For The Hub at TTU, I'm Sydney Holmes. Good day, Texas Tech. I'm your host, Louis Loeb from the Double T Insider. Don't count out Texas Tech men's basketball just yet. Last night, with an unexpected win against Iowa State, they proved that it's anybody's game on any given night. Head into the USA. First half, less than seven minutes to go. Tech down 20 to 16 until Josh Gray lays this one up and in. More from Gray later in this game. Tech down by two now. Jordan Tolbert with a turnaround layup off the glass, all tied at 20. Tech closed the first half on a 12 to five run. Red Raiders lead 28-25 at the half. Second half now, less than a minute to go. Tech holding on to a 52-51 lead, needing some insurance to put the game away. In steps Gray, jumper off the glass. Gray finishing with 16 points in the game to lead all Red Raiders in scoring. Tech would hold on in this one, 56-51 the final. Red Raiders snapping a four-game losing streak. Well, uh, what an awesome feeling uh, for my guys. I'm very happy for the fellas. Um, 
particularly coming off the game we played on Saturday. Again, <clears throat> this team is going to be, this season may be filled with peaks and valleys just because of our youth and inexperience. Uh, but what I love about these guys, and I'll say this, and I love to say it publicly so they can hear, is that every single day they come out with a great attitude. And when you have a young and inexperienced team, that's what you fight. You fight them being down about losses and stuff. And I say, guys, it's part of our journey. There's no reason to get shame. You know, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm going through it with you. I'm going through it with you. This is my first year, and people may say a lot of things, but perception is we're a young team. There's a lot we have to work on. But reality is there's a lot we can control, and the number one thing we can control is our attitude, and that's what we did tonight. Texas Tech will head to Austin and face Texas on Saturday. After a weekend in Houston, Red Raider Tennis is preparing to hit the road again for the ITA kickoff weekend. Texas Tech heads to Palo Alto, California to face San Diego on Friday. Then on Saturday, the Red Raiders will face either Stanford or Texas A&M. With it being a second straight weekend away from Lubbock, Coach Tim Siegel knows this is a good experience for the team. It's a, it's a great place to play a college tennis match, and uh, this is the kickoff. So uh, in the first, these first two matches, we start out with San Diego, and San Diego is a top 30 team. I have a lot of respect for them, very strong. And, and if we were to win the match, we'll play the winner of the A&M Stanford match, and both of those teams are in the top 30. So, you know, this is what our team understands, that we are going to play tough teams each and every week. They're prepared for it, and, and I think the fact that we played two good matches this past weekend will certainly help us for next weekend. Track and field is back in action this weekend, taking their show on the road for the first time this season. And head coach Wes Kitley is ready for his athletes to compete in a new atmosphere. Well, I've said I love running at home. I think it's great. We have 40 new kids on the team, men and women. Uh, it's perfect to say stay at home the first two weeks, and uh, I think we've got to accomplish what we needed to the first two. Now we're about fixing to hit big time, uh, the best in the country, A and M. Or, uh, then we go to New York, and then we go to Arkansas. The next three weeks, very important. We will have more about this meet in Friday's DTI Daily Sports Update. This has been your DTI Daily Update. I'm Louis Loya, and until next time, Reckon Tech. That's all for today. Check back next week for another episode of the MCTV Weekday Update. For MCTV News, I'm Anthony Hall.